it's actually pretty decent outside today. <laughs> I do not know how you wrote me to come outside with you, but... Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know I have to go outside every now and again. But people are scary. Mm, I know there's nothing to fear. But you know me. I have problems, I guess. Thank you for helping me through them, though. Without you, I wouldn't be doing half the things that I do now. Like going to a petting zoo. I mean, a giant going to a petting zoo? It's unheard of. I certainly wouldn't go by myself, and... I thought that was always like a kid's activity, you know? Parents bring their child to pet like a bunny or something. <laughs> But adults going, just adults, it's nothing that's ever crossed my mind before. Yeah, I, I see now, just from walking through the entrance, this is for all ages. I see an old couple over there, children with their parents. It's just... It was a misconception on my part, and I can admit that. I was wrong. I was wrong. Though, may I ask just one thing? No crowded areas. At least, not so soon. I have to psych myself up for those types of things. Uh, can we go to something that's not that popular? Hmm. Well, I'm not entirely sure what that would be. I didn't even know this town had a petting zoo. Well, bust out the map and see what it says. If I had to take a shot in the dark, I would say sheep and like horses would be the most popular with people. Mm. Okay, so rabbits is closest to the entrance. It's over there. Um, we're right there at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, goats, pigs, horses, sheep. I didn't know they'd have parrots. That's interesting. Um, hmm. Well, where would you like to go? You want me to pick? But, I mean, you're the one that brought me here, so, I mean, I'm just following the leader, yeah? You're doing this for me? Is it because I brought up that I want to go to a petting zoo someday? No wonder we're here. <laughs> Is this a special treat for me? I didn't... It, it wasn't obvious to me, okay? <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, That's very sweet of you. Come here. Thank you. Thank you. Always trying to help me. Thank you for being so sweet. Well, if that's the case, and with the amount of times I have brought it up and what I'd want to see at a petting zoo, let's go see the pigs. But, but, but first, how much did it cost to come in here? Well, when we were at the counter, I wasn't making eye contact with the person, um, and I wasn't looking up at all. I was just looking down at my feet, because people scare me. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I guess that's not so bad. Um, well, I want us to get your money's worth, so uh, pigs and a few other things, but first pigs. So I guess we have to follow this path over here then. What type of pigs are they, anyway? Ooh, pot belly. They're gonna have really big bellies. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. Mm. I love 
pigs, you know that. With the amount of pig plushies I've been asking for, <laughs> it's very obvious, I think. I don't know. I don't know. It's like I'm almost obsessed with them. Why am I obsessed? I'm not quite sure. I think it started sometime a year or two ago when I was just scrolling down the internet and I got recommended a pig video. And from there I got another one and another one and another one. And now I'm here. <laughs> just so cute. Piglets and full grown ones, it doesn't matter. What I'm hoping, though, is that the general public, or just the people here, think they're too disgusting and won't be around, so I can have all the pigs to myself. <laughs> well, people see pigs as filthy creatures. So, another reason to love them. They're not as loved as other animals. Yeah, you love to eat them. But I mean, would you have a pig as a pet? See, I would. To me, they're like the equivalent of dogs. Now, they're still very tasty and I will eat them. But, I mean, look at them. Look at that picture right there. It's cute. It cannot be denied. Look at its piggy little face. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to see them. Huh? Oh, shush. Of course I have a smile on my face. I'm with you, of all people. Why wouldn't I smile? Wait. Really? I've... I've never noticed that I don't smile in public. Yeah, really. Uh, I can kind of figure out where that came from, though. That must be like a, just a, um, condition that I created for myself. Um, I'm really self-conscious when it comes to my teeth. I kind of have a gap, which, of course, you know. You're my significant other. <laughs> of course you know. But, um. You see, typically whenever I laugh, I like to cover my mouth. I just, I don't know, there's something about it that I just, I like it, but I don't want other people to see it, you know? It's its a weird way to explain it, and it probably sounds very dumb. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for being this way. I really am. I know I shouldn't apologize for being the way I am, but that's that's the way I am. I apologize for even the smallest of things. I don't know why. You say I can build self-confidence, but I just, I don't see that being real. I don't see that being a possibility. I don't. And do I really need it? I can still function in life. It's just... When there's a lot of people around, I get a little weird. Hmm. I don't know. I do know one thing, though. You certainly won't judge me. And I'm hoping that these pigs don't judge me either. They shouldn't be scared of human interaction, being here of all places. So, it should be a wonderful time. A wonderful time with... Two of my most favorite things in this world. <gasps> look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look. Oh, they have children. Oh. That's so cute. Do you think we can feed them? I should remain calm. I shouldn't run up to them and freak them out, but mm, it's excited. Hi there, darling. Hello. You're so cute. Do you know that? Come here. You gotta, like, sniff my hand first, right? 
It's rubbing up on my hand. Can I give you a little scritch scritch? Come here, let me give you a little scritch scritch. Yeah. A little scritch scritch. Oh, it's getting out of sight. This is the best. Baby, thank you for taking me here. Oh. You're such a cutie patootie. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> your belly is so big. Why is your belly so big, huh? I'm gonna slap it, but I won't do it. But I want to. <laughs> do you see anywhere we can feed them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I love your face so much. You're the cutest creature I've ever seen in my life. Why? Why? Why are you allowed to be so cute? I need to know. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to the pig, not you. But you're your own anomaly. You are very cute. Do you want me to scratch you the same way I do the pig? <laughs> you weren't supposed to say yes. Ah, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'd say we lucked out today. No one's here at all. Perfect. Just absolutely perfect. I couldn't imagine a better day. Well, maybe if the clouds were covering the sun at the moment, that'd be even better. But, you take what you can get. Mm. Oh, this is such a calming, calming moment. <sighs> hey, I shouldn't be doing all of this. Come pet them too. They'll love it, come on, come on. Give him a little pet. Yeah, like that. <laughs> See? Don't they remind you of dogs? They just don't bark. They do a little snort. Sometimes a big snort, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's basically the same. It's totally the same. <laughs> Thank you for giving me this lovely experience with you. We've only been here for a few minutes, and I'm having a blast. Even though this seems very mundane and simple to others, I'm a very simple person. I can just feed birds out at the pond or do puzzles, and I'll be a happy camper. So this, this is peak entertainment to me. <laughs> so thank you. Oh, more of them are coming over. Does my size not scare you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you guys are the best little creatures ever. You're such a cute keeper, Dutti. Hello, and thank you very much for listening to this audio. I'm going to be talking rather calmly, and I would say semi at a whisper, because my headache has not subsided, um, at least at the moment of recording this. You'll be hearing this on Saturday, so hopefully everything is better. This won't affect uploads, it won't affect me streaming. I can talk louder but just like not for too long. So um, streams will probably be an hour, maybe an hour and 30 minutes. But anyway, thank you for listening to this audio. This was recommended to me by a friend because I asked them, hey, you know, I can't really do anything super active. What type of audio should I create? Because just at that moment, thinking was very difficult for me. So they said, well, You've always wanted to go to a petting zoo, right? And you, with your love of piggies, <laughs> might as well make an audio about that. And I was like, you are an absolute genius. Thank you very much. And this is how this got created. This is literally just me and how I'd probably react 
with going to a petting zoo. I would never want to go by myself. And the first thing I'd want to go to is to see the pigs and nothing else. <laughs> and I think even in the audio, I brought up that, you know, like, how much did you pay for the tickets to get in here? Because there's going to be a part where I would say, like, I don't want you wasting your money because really all I want to see are pigs and I don't care about any of the other animals. Uh, I think I've gone to a petting zoo before, before though, as a kid. And I remember having a memory of um, feeding like a sandwich to a horse. <laughs> and then the horse tried eating the entire sandwich. And the adults were like, wait, 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 no, no, no. Pull back, pull back. So, yeah. Fond memories. And I crave, absolutely crave to uh, see some pigs again. Uh, we'll see pigs probably for the first time because I don't remember seeing them as a child. Small update. Thank you to Cha Ferrero and Fin Fury for working with me on making new thumbnail models. I appreciate it a lot, and you guys will soon be seeing that rolling out, hopefully by next week or in the next two weeks. We shall see. I don't have an exact estimate because I did not put a um a deadline, so hopefully you guys will be seeing that very soon, and we'll be having some great great days. Thank you all very much for supporting me so that I could even get to the point of being able to commission artists. With that being said, one final thing. Thank you very much to Theodore for being kind enough to super chat me. Um, I appreciate the support a lot. I appreciate the support of all my members, Patreon members, my viewers, my subscribers, everywhere on every single episode I use that offers such things. Just thank you for being here. Ah, the headache's starting to come back a little bit. So I will leave that here, just here. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I'll talk to you again next time, okay? Bye-bye.